everyone, it's your adopted farmer Phil and it's May which means it's the last video for us and it's summer for you guys. I hope you're excited for summer. Uh, this month we're planting and we're uh, actually what's called drilling and this is our drill and the seed will go in here and then it'll come down through these hoses and go down here where the discs will open up the ground and they'll place the seed right where it needs to be and we'll hook this up to the tractor and pull it along. We'll show you that here in just a minute. But what we're planting is oats. Oats is where straw comes from. The bottom is straw and the top is a grain and normally you combine that and you feed the grain to the cows and they lay on the straw. But we do things a little differently at our farm. We actually cut it for hay right before it's ready to combine and then we feed it to the cows whole and grind it up in the uh, vertical mixer that we showed you last fall. It makes really good feed. The oats doesn't take long to grow so in about two months we'll be doing that and then for the rest of summer we'll put on what's called a cover crop. Cover crops can be anything from turnips, radishes, peas, basically everything that doesn't taste good to you guys or that you wouldn't want your mom to feed you. It tastes really good to the cows, it's good for the soil, and it gives that ground something to do until winter. And so the cows will graze that off uh, up until this fall until the corn stalks are ready. So we'll show you today how we plant, why we do it, and just do a little more explanation of that. And if you guys have any questions before you hit summer break, you just let your teacher know. This is the drill that puts the oats in the ground. Uh, Tim is putting the oats in the hopper, and then you can see those discs at the bottom. That's what's going to cut open the soil and place the seed right where it needs to be. And with rain and sunshine, that oats will grow in about three or four months. Now that the seed's full, we're ready to hit the field. How many acres is this going to seed, Tim? Here you'll see the tractor pulling the drill along and it's cutting the soil open and placing the seed where it needs to go. You probably notice that our field isn't tilled up or the ground's not black and we practice what's called no-till on our farm and that means that we skip that part of planting where you till the soil up uh, kind of like you till your garden up at home. We just plant right over the top of the soil and it helps keep moisture in the ground, it helps the dirt from blowing away, it helps keep it from washing away so it's better for the environment and it's better for our soil. So that's about all we have for you this month. We hope you enjoyed our videos. We've certainly enjoyed sharing our egg story with you and we hope you have a great summer.